Bloodhounds are known for their incredible sense of smell and tracking abilities. They have been used for generations in search and rescue missions, as well as by law enforcement agencies to track down criminals. Due to their strong prey drive and instinct to follow scents, it is essential to crate train a bloodhound to ensure their safety and keep them manageable. In this article, we will discuss the process of crate training a bloodhound and provide some useful tips to make it a successful experience for both you and your furry friend. 1. Understanding the benefits of crate training Crate training provides numerous advantages for both you and your bloodhound. It gives your dog a safe and comfortable space to retreat to when needed, especially in situations that may overwhelm them. A crate becomes their den, or their special place, where they can relax and feel secure. Additionally, it aids in house training, prevents destructive behavior, and keeps your bloodhound out of harm's way when left unsupervised. 2. Choosing the right crate Selecting the appropriate crate is crucial for the success of the training process. Bloodhounds are large dogs, so it is necessary to choose a crate that allows them to stand, turn around, and lie down comfortably. Opt for a sturdy and well-ventilated crate, preferably made of hard plastic or metal. Avoid using soft-sided crates, as they may be easily chewed through by a bloodhound with a strong urge to investigate scents. 3. To the crate Introducing your bloodhound to the crate gradually is essential to prevent any negative associations. Place the crate in a quiet area of your home, preferably in a room where your family spends a lot of time. Keep the crate door open and make it inviting by adding a soft blanket or bedding inside. Encourage your bloodhound to explore the crate by leaving treats or toys near the entrance. You can also use a command like crate or kimmel to associate it with a positive experience. For positive reinforcement. One of the key elements in crate training is positive reinforcement. Reward your bloodhound every time they voluntarily enter the crate or remain calm inside for short periods. Use treats, praise, and affection to show your dog that their crate is a desirable place to be. Gradually increase the duration your bloodhound spends inside the crate, always rewarding them for their calm behavior. Creating a positive association with the crate will make training more enjoyable for both of you. 5. Establishing a Routine Consistency is crucial when crate training a bloodhound. Establish a regular routine and stick to it as closely as possible. Dogs thrive on routine, and having a predictable schedule will make the training process smoother. Ensure your bloodhound gets enough exercise and mental stimulation before crating them, as this will tire them out and make them more likely to relax in their crate. 6. Never use the crate for punishment. Using the crate as a form of punishment will have detrimental effects on your bloodhound's training and well-being. The crate should always be associated with positive experiences and never be used for disciplinary purposes. If your bloodhound engages in any undesirable behavior, redirect their attention and reward them for engaging in an appropriate alternative. Punishment will only instill fear, stress, and anxiety, which can lead to regression in training. 7. Gradual Increase in Duration Once your bloodhound becomes comfortable entering and staying in the crate for short periods, gradually increase the duration they spend inside. Start by closing the crate door for a few seconds, then release them while rewarding their calm behavior. Gradually extend the time they spend in the crate, always ensuring they are calm and relaxed before allowing them to exit. Remember to reward them generously for their good behavior. 8. Nighttime and Alone Time Training Crate training is particularly crucial for nighttime and alone time situations. Place the crate in your bedroom during the night in the initial stages of training. This allows your bloodhound to feel close to you and reduces their anxiety. As they become more comfortable, gradually move the crate to the desired sleeping area. The same process applies to being left alone. Start with short periods of alone time and gradually increase it, always ensuring your bloodhound feels secure and rewarded for their cooperation. 9. Patience and Persistence Crate training a bloodhound requires patience and persistence. Some dogs may take longer to adapt to the crate than others, but with consistent training, they will eventually see it as their safe haven. Do not rush the process or force your bloodhound into the crate. 
allow them to proceed at their own pace, always making the experience as positive as possible. In conclusion, crate training a bloodhound is crucial for their safety, well-being, and overall behavior. By following the steps provided in this article, you can ensure a successful crate training experience for both you and your furry friend. Remember, a well-trained bloodhound is a happy and content companion.